A reading from the book of the Acts of the Apostles. And they kept their attention fixed on the Apostle teaching and were united together in the taking of broken bread and in prayer. But fear came on every soul, and all sorts of wonders and signs were drawn by the Apostle. And all those who were of the faith kept together and had all things in common and exchanging their good and property for money. They make division of it among them all, as they had need. And day by day, going in agreement together regularly to the temple and taking broken bread together in their houses, they took their food with joy and with the true hearts, giving praise to God and having the praise of all the people. And every day the number of those who has salvation was increased by the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, today in the course of our novena, we are invited to fix our gaze on the family spirit, trying to grasp the invitation of Father Calabria to be builders of communion and fraternity, because the family spirit must reign among us. The family spirit is another important characteristic that St. John Calabria has left us, an important in the, in the opera, and uh, since the beginning. The family spirit arises from the very charism of paternity of God and is linked to the free call to belong to the Calabrian family. There are many prerogatives that uh, we find in the writings of Father Calabria regarding the family spirit. For example, the figure of Casante as guardian of the family, the atmosphere and way to welcoming people, the value of the person, the free gift that we have received, the house in the atmosphere of daily life and relationship, fraternal charity, relationship with the poorest in a spiritual 
and material sharing, taking care of the fragility of the people, being brothers and sisters without distinction between us, the simplicity of life, the serene acceptance of our difficulties, and our work. The opera must be like a family, said Father Calabria, recalling unity and fraternal communion, following the example of the first Christian communities who were one heart and one soul. In the passage of the book of the Acts of the Apostles is reported the life of the first Christian community. We can think that this is an ideal community, that we can never reach this high ideal of communion. However, since fraternal communion is a gift from God, it is a grace that comes from above. It is not linked to a purely human construction of more or less sympathetic friendship. The Holy Spirit is the source of unity that creates communion and allows us to live as a family, brothers and sisters among us. The Acts of the Apostles said they were pers persevering in fraternal union. All those who had become believers were together and put everything in common. The communion and family spirit that the first Christian community lived was supported by the Word of God, by the Eucharist and by the prayers. In this way, their communion was above all free gift from the Holy Spirit, who continued to bring out among them attitudes of extraordinary love, the love that comes from God. Well, on the other hand, it was a communion translated into solidarity between the members of the community, carrying each other's burdens in the sharing of goods by putting everything in common and communion that made them one heart, one soul growing in humanity. Father Calabria really believed in the family spirit to the point that, that he wrote in the first rules of the, the program to guide our being together. First of all, consider each other as brothers because communion was born from the supernatural dimension he has the opera. We live in a world where uh, everyone thinks for, for himself, where individualism always leaves behind every large consequences. In this time of the pandemic and post-pandemic, we have realized that uh, we are all in the same boat and above all, we have realized that we cannot save ourselves alone. Nevertheless, despite this, it is still hard to find ways of communion and solidarity. The Pope Francis always is insisting at this point. I believe that we too must recover within the opera the family spirit, the solidarity, the sharing, collegiality. It is not enough just to proclaim it. We need a, a living witness that can help today's world in the relative uh, realities where uh, we are present to be signs of communion and uh, fraternity. This is a concrete and meaningful prophecy that people find and experience living the family spirit, being and feeling part of this great family. I, I see at times how much difficulties we find to walk to this road towards communion. The proximity of our general chapters is an opportunity to continue to believe that it is possible, possible to live the family spirit, that uh, communion is possible, 
that the testimony of the charism is possible through the different components of the Calabrian family. It is an invitation to recuperate the family spirit in our families, in our communities, in our activities. It is very easy to lose or neglect this dimension of the family spirit that must characterize, characterize us. Today we pray, invoking the Holy Spirit and asking for the intercession of Father Calabria, we ask ourselves, how are we living the family spirit? Is fraternity and communion a fundamental value among us? In our homes, in the family, in our activities, does the family spirit so the cedar by Father Calabria reign? The Holy Spirit come to our aid and help us to build us family spirit. From the writings of St. John Calabria. The opera must be like a family, where members do not make a question of dignity, precedence and alike, but all, one heart and one soul. Serve the Lord, intent only on carrying out the divine program of seeking the holy kingdom of God and the good of souls. Have mutual charity. It is the cement that unites the souls and forms of all one thing. Cor unum et anima sua. This is the unity that our Lord Jesus Christ asked of his apostles. That they were one among themselves, as he was one with the Father. For God's sake, let no distinctions be among you. Only one body, one person. The apostolate is as vast as the Lord, and all is great. The head has the foot, the arm has the finger. Just do obedience. The warmth of the faith of those brothers and sisters in Christ makes their lives the landscape, landscape of God's work which through the apostles is manifested with miracle and signs. What is extraordinary becomes ordinary and every day, every day life becomes the site of the manifestation of the living Christ. The evangelist Luke narrates this to us by showing us the Church of Jerusalem as the paradigm for every Christian community, as the icon of a fraternity which attracts and should neither be idealized or minimized. The narrative in the Acts of the Apostles allows us to look within the walls of the dome's house 
We are the first Christians gathered as God's family. The space for unity, koinonia, that is, of the communion among brothers and, and sisters in Christ. We can see that they live in a very precise way. They devote themselves to the apostles, teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. The Christians listened assiduously to the Didache, the teaching, the apostolic teaching. They apply a high level of equality in their interpersonal relationships, although also through sharing spiritual and material goods. They remember the Lord through the breaking of bread, that is, the Eucharist, and they dialogue with God in the prayer. These are the attitudes of a Christian, the four marks of a good Christian. Let us pray to the Holy Spirit that he may make our communities places in which to gather and exercise the new life. Works of solidarity and of the communion, places in which liturgies are an encounter with God that becomes communion with the brothers and sisters, places that are open doors to the heavenly Jerusalem. We pray, Father, instill in our hearts the abandonment full of trust and love that makes us live as your children, make us capable of fraternity and solidarity towards our brothers and sisters. We ask you this grace and we entrust to you the intentions that each one has in our hearts by praying together the intercessory prayers to our Father, St. John Calabria. O God, our Father, we praise you for your providence with which you govern the universe and in our life. We thank you for the gift of evangelical holiness you have granted your servant, St. John Calabria, for his example, desirous only of the coming of your kingdom, we abandon to you all our worries. Grant us your spirit to make our hearts simple and available to your will. Enable us to love our brothers and sisters, above all the poorest and abandoned, that one day, together with them, we may reach the unending joy, where you await us with your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through the intercession of St. John Calabria, grant us the grace that we now ask you with confidence.
for the intercession of St. John Calabria, may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.